Let me just go ahead and close chat, and I'm gonna give them the countdown. They're nervous. The scare nerves. Okay. Wee. All right. Here we go. Counting down. On go from three. Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Wee. All right. They are about to start in two seconds here. They're about to get started. Looks like they have started. Maiba has started a little late. I don't know. That, you know, that could be anything. But all right. Here we go. SMB3 Warpless Points Tournament Match. Teeks against Maiba. Let's see how the nerves hold up. Let's see how both these opponents do. They have both a very, very close Warpless time. However, Maiba did actually get a PB in Warpless, I think, like a week ago. Getting like a 51-14, while Teeks has a 51-26. I think he's either got a 51-24, 5, or 6. I can't remember. There's so many There's so many of the same times. But it's looking pretty good. Maiba not getting the early piece speed, so he's going to go for the slide strat to try and build some speed. Not clutching out. Look at that right there. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Nice backups. All right. Well, now that we have a little bit of time, we got the introduction over with. What are we looking for in World 1? All right, we are looking for the frame perfect jump with the hammer brother as soon as you start the battle and we're looking for both of our opponents to stay in the crouching form the entire duration of the ship that's worth two points the other one is worth one point all right both runners are looking good here look at that look at them go on the fortress teeks is keeping the lead right now while getting movements of two he's gonna do his damage boost strat Meanwhile, Maiva's got two stars. I hope he doesn't get another one, man. That, that could be pretty rough. Deke's not going for swag tunnel for fun. Also not taking damage. Look at that. Let's see what Maiva decides to do. Oh, he decides to go for the tunnel and he opts out of it because it's too risky. Losing his P-Speed in the pipe. Let's see if he actually nails three stars. Hopefully he doesn't. And he does not. All right. Teeks is not fighting the Hammer Brother just yet. So we're going to have to hold off on whether he gets the point or not. And Maiba is going to fight him right now. Let's see if Maiba gets the first frame jump. He gets the first frame jump. Maiba already getting a point lead. Wow, you got to love to see that. But we'll see. We'll see how Teeks holds up. We'll see how Teeks holds up. Maiba already gets the first frame jump. Let's see what Teeks does. Does he... Teeks does not get the first frame jump and he misses the block. Taking a little bit of a time loss right there. All right, what's going to happen here? He gets the fire flower. That's good for the duck. Is he going to go for the mushroom house here? He is not going for the mushroom house here. Very interesting strategy. We've seen some runners go for it. We've seen some runners not go for it. Maiba does not have the fire flower, which means he's going to have to either try and collect it or do world two without the fire flower. Had he done the mushroom house and got the fire flower, he would have been able to just equip it and get that point. Here goes Teeks right here. Yes, yes. Work, my minions. Look what I make them do. All right, are they both going to get this point? Pretty good. He's going to have to do a couple little baby steps here. Ooh, he's in a tight spot. Okay, he made it out. Maiba looking pretty good. Is Maiba practice getting the fire flower? It looks like he's going to get it. He's going to wait, though. Now he's going to go. Now he's going to let the screen push him. Same with Teeks. Teeks is in a little pocket right there. Oh, Maiba stood up there. We saw that. A frame up. Maiba had let go of the down input. Meanwhile, Teeks did not let go of the down input. So Teeks got the two points while Maiba did not. Can we get a clip in chat? Just so everyone can confirm. I saw Maiba peek, man. He peeked when he should have poked. Should have peaked when he poked. All right, we have confirmation. I just want to double check, make sure we had a clip. All right, going off in world two. Things are spicing and heating up. Ha ha ha, get it in this world. Although there's not a whole lot they got an RNG point, and then they have a skill point. It looks like Teeks has got the lead with one point, and they are neck and neck in the same level right now. Boom. 
Things are heating up in the desert level. Movement of two. You always get a movement of two after the first level, so you don't have to worry about it. Maiba with two stars again. I think he is comfortable with getting two stars, hopefully an off card with every two, and then he goes for the off card on the third. For me, that's a little too scary. I like to get the off card on the second card, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see what Teeks gets. All right, so Teeks's cards have started. Meanwhile, Maiba's cards have also started. These guys are neck and neck and so close in score right now. Oh, Teeks already getting a movement of one. Meanwhile, Maiba's still getting movements of two. Teeks does not get early peace speed. That could be unfortunate here if Maiba does get it. And he does. Look at that catch up. Look at that difference right there. Ooh, missing the pipe though. Man, he needs to keep that. Oh no, now Teeks has got the advantage again. He does get the rebuild though. Maiba does get the rebuild. That's pretty good. All right, right through the doorways. They're gonna have to wait for the spikes. They're not going for spike skip. That's too old. You want to be small, Mario, for that. Ooh, getting the fire kill. Nice, both of the fire kill. You notice Maiba got a quicker fire kill. The, the boom boom was actually still in the air. He hadn't landed on the ground yet. Teeks is not going to go for that music box. Meanwhile, Maiba with another movement of two, and he's going to be another movement of two after this level. So this is pretty interesting right now. This is pretty interesting. All right, making good work of the little steps with the blocks. They both went for the semi-scary strat. You don't want to... I, I don't know, like in a turn... Oh, Maiba with the flower as his first card. That's actually really, really good for him. If he can get that out of the way right now, holy crap, that'll be good. Oh, and the Hammer Brothers are in a prime spot, guys, for all movements of two in this world. Teek's going to get the first shell, and same with Maiba, because they can keep P-Speed. And let's see if they both go for the same strat. Teeks with the kill. Easy. Maiba with the standstill. Maiba also gets it. They both get the preemptive sun kill. The first sun kill. Maiba's gonna have to get a, a star here. And he does get a star. All he has left is a mushroom. Does Maiba know the mushroom tech? We saw Rupert fumbling around with the mushroom tech yesterday about 10 times, I'm guessing. So hopefully, hopefully we don't get the same thing. All right. All right, they're both doing the, the standard level. Uh, two five is the easier of the of the two. Two four is a little bit more stressful. My bug, I think the nerves are hitting him a little bit, and he gets the mushroom. Wow, that is big for Myba early game, man. That is big for Myba early game. Look at that, he tied it up right there. Teeks also getting the hammer right now. Meanwhile, Myba still getting all movements of two. What is gonna happen here? What is gonna happen? All right, they're both in the pyramid. It seems like Maiba is ahead right now, but he is not. He has not fought the Hammer Brother yet. That gives him the hammer. He needs that. He needs that. Teeks needs a flower right here, man. If Teeks gets a flower right now, that'll be so good for him. Then he can start. I know Teeks knows Star Tech, and I know he knows Mushroom Tech, so. All right. It's a mushroom. He does not get the flower. He gets a star. Star's not going to cut it. Maiba still getting movements of two. If he get, oh my god, this is it. Maiba actually got the all movements of two right here. This is insane. And I have to give it to him. There's, there's no other way, right? Look at this. Oh, wow. Lucky bug right there. Holy crap. That's too, it's so hard for all movements of two, guys. It is so hard. But the fact that he got it. Hey man, you got RNG points, you got non-RNG points, right? Maiba's got, Maiba's got, uh, three, three skill points already. He's got the bro jump, that's a skill point. He's got the sun kill, that's also a skill point. And he's got the flower star mushroom, that's also a skill point too. We saw yesterday by Rupert that there is a consistent method of getting the flower. We had not seen that. Rupert has shown us the way. He's shown us the way yesterday. All right. So, it looks like... Looks like Teeks is, Teeks is not entirely set up for the flower star, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see if these runners get the star first in world three. You gotta get the star first because none of them have done mushroom houses. You gotta get the star first so that your hammers are not touching in your inventory. So hopefully they know that. I hope the runners know that. It's gonna be very exciting to see if they do. All right, go for the fire kill. He knows his fire kill. Teeks has got a very, very nice time lead right here. Alright. Looking 
good. Looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Looking spicy. Boom, boom, boom. Maiba, man. Maiba is... I think... I think the nerves are getting him. Maiba couldn't secure an easy fire kill there, though. Because... Of the uh, where he was positioned on the overworld map made it a little bit uh, difficult for him to to get a good spot, a good fire kill. So it wasn't his fault. But we have seen some slip ups. It's rare to see these pro runners messing up in two five, right? Two five, one of the easiest levels, and and Maiba was slipping, slipping around. But that's okay. He's got some. He's got extra points. He's in the lead for points, and this is a points tournament. That's what it's about, man. It's about the points. All right, extremely passive level here. Teeks wishes he had no cards in his in his slot here so he could get a fire flower, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Excuse me there. Alright, so Teeks has just demonstrated he knows the mushroom tech. So if he gets a flower in his first slot, he's good to go. Nice movement of one right there for Teeks. Alright, let's see if he gets the pro speedrun strat. He does, man. That is not an easy P-Speed strategy. However, we have seen a lot of runners doing it, though. So, if you want to keep up in this tournament, you should you should definitely learn that strategy. Maiba is also going to go for it. Is Maiba going to secure it as well? Maiba is also going to get it. Insane. He does have 22 coins, though. Not anymore, though. He's got 26. Not, not worried about a coin ship just yet. Oh, he gets the, the, the double frame jump. That's really good. Ooh, man, Teeks almost messing up that P-Speed. All right, this is a pretty passive level. Now we have a chance. We, we're looking for door three. No water bro patterns. And this is the first world that starts off with the special bro pattern. The special bro pattern is a hammer brother that gives you an item within the level. You can study which spaces on the overworld map give you the give you the item, right? So you, you wait, you bide your time, and when the chance is... It's good enough, you can get it. So here's a good opportunity for Teeks. If the Hammer Brother moves left, he should do that one first. Avoid Water Pattern and get Special Tile. But first, he's gonna get Door 3. He's not even gonna go for Door 3! What? I feel like he, he is in a good situation, so he's not even gonna try for it. Because if Maiba misses this, he's gonna be even further behind. But is he gonna go for it and get it? He does not get it! That is actually crazy for Teeks. And they both have the same Hammer Brother setup. And, oh, Teeks is not going to be able to get this. He's not going to get the... He's not only not going to get the special tile, but the Hammer Brother might move on the water tile. This was a bad play by Teeks. But he does get lucky, but not in the right manner. He should have done level four first, right? We have already seen this, guys. If he gets runaway, bro, he's going to be kicking himself. That was not worth it. He missed out on special tile point, and he might get hit by runaway here. This is going to be... Very interesting for both the runners. Meanwhile, Maiba getting the hammer. They both got the hammer first, which means they are not going to get the inventory point. And Maiba does not get the H2O point. And Teeks gets run away. Oh my gosh. So Teeks has decided that he wants to just do the auto scroller. Save the cloud. Uh, there, so here was his options. He could have used his cloud. Uh, done 3-7, got the cloud there. Maybe done the fortress or cloud past the fortress and worked his way back around. This auto scroller is not, it's not that long. So he's hes probably a little upset that he's got this. There were definitely some things that he could have done to avoid this very unfortunate. I guess, I guess the tournament just hits people different, right? I mean, we, we've already seen in previous races to avoid getting the hammer first. And look at that, you can see maiba has got two hammers touching. Could not get that inventory and now Maiba has taken the lead. However, Teeks still does have that extra cloud. So we're gonna see how this goes. Right. No special tile from either of them, and Maiba did get a water pattern and not door three. So uh, Teeks is pretty much guaranteed. But I want to see. I want to see what happens here. I don't. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. I don't think there's any water tiles here. So we'll see how this goes. Teeks has also not used this cloud yet, though. So he still has no. No items are touching together. It looks like he's gonna fight that hammer, brother. But at the same time, he's not going to get any H2O battles. Right on. So Maiba gets the H jump. You love to see the H jump, man. The H jump is so good. They're both going for a little swim right here. And Maiba is out of world three. There we go. Look at that. Tied up in points. Different routes, different RNG, different situations, different skills. This is looking good. All right. 
Is this uh, I don't even know. Is this a special tile with the hammer brother? It could be. I cannot remember if this position is special or not. I don't think it is. Is Teeks gonna go look? He knows it's not. Okay. So it looks like Teeks is about, you know, a level and a little bit behind. A little bit more than a level. I'd say about a level a level and a half, maybe two levels. Getting the H jump though, not have to worry about it. He's wiping off the dust. I don't know if he knows he made a mistake there, but he's he's not worried about it right now. He's gonna just take it home. He's gonna try and try and go really fast, and make his way. All right, we got Star Mushroom and we got Mushroom both on airship. I will be right back in one second. Alright, looks like they're both on the airship. How do you guys feel about that World 3? Never expected runaway. Well, it's interesting because Teeks could have avoided that runaway, right? Teeks could have avoided it. All right, now we're on our way to world four. So this is where things can start happening. I've been going for his patented peace speed strategy. Nice, going for the swag kills. Going for those swag kills. Love to see it. So this is gonna be interesting. Teeks is actually gonna use that hammer before he uses the cloud, which means his inventory items are good. That's two extra points. On top of Maiba, if if Teeks can can smash it out. We've seen some runners. Oh man, they got screwed over just simply by doing an airship and starting the next world with that item in their inventory and they didn't even notice, right? So, it's gonna be very interesting to see how these people deal with this. Alright, good luck. It looks like Teeks is two levels behind, but still got that cloud, right? That is not the movement that Maiba wanted to see, but let's see if Maiba gets punished. We're looking, he's gotta get a 288 or higher or else he gets punished in this level, so don't make any mistakes. There's normally not any stress in 4-3, but there is now. <laughs> there is now. Oh, almost missed that. All right, it looks like he's not getting punished. And Teeks, the first movement here for Teeks is pretty good, but let's see. Let's see if the Hammer Brothers start behaving uh, for Teeks, because uh, World 3, they, they left him stunned and confused. Dazed and confused. All right, might be using the Hammer, getting the Cloud first. So he's got the opportunity. He has the opportunity to get the P-Wing after this cloud. Oh, and Teeks gets the good RNG, so he's gonna get the cloud first here. Very nice. Ooh, Maiba getting the uh, the P-Speed on the top of 4-4. That's a very difficult uh, P-Speed to get. Oh! Teeks with the cloud! Teeks with the cloud. I, I, I mean... I would have done... I would have done 4-3, then used the hammer so that they wouldn't be beside each other. But I think regardless... Because he had the extra cloud, he could have could used the other cloud in his inventory. But it's hard to think about this stuff on the spot, man. It's very hard to think about this stuff on the spot. But he is out of there. And it looks like Maiba got the P-Wing after the cloud. Look at that for Maiba, getting those points right there, man. You have to get the P-Wing directly after the cloud. And it looks like Teeks as well is gonna get the P-Wing after the cloud, right? Yes, he is! Oh my gosh, tit for tat right now. Tit for tat, man. Teeks gonna go for the star, no, no harm, man. No problem there. 
No problem there. Look at that. Alright, looks like Maiba's is gonna avoid the star. Is he gonna get early P speed though? He gets early P speed. Look at that on Maiba's side. He has nine points, clearing out some points in World 4 and not getting punished by 4 3. You love to see it. Teak's not even playing 4 3. You can't get punished if you don't play 4 3, so that's easy for him. Right? Alright, let's see if. Let's see if Teeks gets early P speed. Come on, Teeks, you need it to stay tied. And Teeks gets it. Look at that. Nine, nine at the end of World 4. Absolutely incredible. World 4 goes by so fast, doesn't it? And then you get this stupid slow auto scroller. Holy crap. Let's go, auto scroller. Let's go, let's go. Nine v nine right now, man. That was a that was a really good world four right there from both of our players. Teeks, however, is not gonna have the advantage of the uh, points or the 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 items in his inventory. Yeah, this is crazy, man. They're just smashing out these strategies. Uh, Teeks does not have an extra cloud. No, he used this cloud on 4-3. Nope. Teeks uses cloud. Yo, Brazales! Uh, I, I didn't see you yesterday, but I wanted to thank you very much for the... Where is it? For the $100 donation, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. Dude, I, I was... I didn't have it open, and it was our first tournament race, so I'm very sorry that I missed it, but thank you so much, dude. Very much appreciate it. I appreciate all of the support that I get during the month of October. It all goes towards Season 3. So thank you, guys. And I don't want to miss... Appreciation. Alright. These runners are on the most boring airship. Uh, we got Teeks with the 69 coins. You love to see it. You love to see it, guys. Now it's time for me to open up my Scooby-Doo fruit snacks. That's right. Gotta keep... Gotta keep it going. Not much to really go over here. Just the fact that, thank God, it's almost over. Yeah, season three, I'm gonna give the players a point for warping past the World 4. No. All right. Deeks with the fire kill. Look at that, man. Holy jumping. All right, we're starting off World 5. See you later, chat. We'll hit you back up on next auto scroller. Nice, Maiba making great work of 5-1. You can now see that Teeks isn't super far behind right now. But in World 5, they're looking for no overworld bumps. I'm trying to figure out if Maiba's moving slow on the map. I'll figure out next. Or if that was a bump after level 1. Wow, the, the strategy here in 5-2 was really good. Teeks nailing 5-1, getting out of there. Nice, right, moving nice and slow. Let's uh, We gotta focus really hard on Maiba's movement here. I think he's trying to move a little slow here to make sure nothing gets all... All wonky. I don't know, Maiba moved pretty quick there. I think he might have bonked. I think he might have bonked after level one. Can we get a moderator in chat to go scout out in a previous, in his previous podcast to go check that out? I think he bonked, to be honest, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Deeks is looking good. Although Maiba does have two stars here, so let's see how this goes. Are they gonna go for the roulette game? He is going for the roulette game. Let's see if he gets it right here. 
He's got the mushroom. Oh, he's got the mushroom! Oh my god, the suspense! He gets it! Oh my god, Maiba with the roulette game, dude. You guys are working on it? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good double check. All right, it's Teeks' turn. Maiba also gets the special tile, bro. Teeks, mushroom. Oh, Teeks also gets it. But Maiba, oh, I just saw that. He also got the special bro tile. Look at that. Look at these cards right here, man. These guys have been practicing. All right, are they going to get 280 or higher? Keep your fingers crossed, man. These guys are smashing out world five points. This is incredible. This is incredible, man. Oh! Maiba messing up there, but that's okay because he doesn't keep P speed normally. But is that gonna cost him the 280? I don't think so. 283, 282, 281, 280. Oh my god, he just barely got it, but he got it, man. 280 or higher. 280 or higher. It's Teeks' turn. Does Teeks get 280 or higher? He's looking good. 82, 82, 81, 281. Wow, both of these runners are killing it. Oh! So, it, we have confirmed that Maiba did get a bump there. Unfortunate. Teeks has not overworld bumped yet. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Guess I'm moving to four, though. So, what else does Maiba have to do here? He doesn't really have anything else. He's just got to do P speed strategies and keep that lead. And look at how much Teeks is catching up right there. Holy crap, man. Right on. What does Maiba have the lead over Teeks right here? What is the lead? Teeks has not got a special bro uh, item yet. That is that is the difference right here in points. However, as long as Teeks doesn't bump on the overworld, he hasn't bumped yet. Nice, dude. These guys are so close to each other. But Maiba has a lot of movements of four where Teeks is just gaining seconds upon seconds. Oh, no Jesus Clip. What? It's worth like 15 points. Come on, guys. Jesus Clip was worth like a million. Oh, moving to three on Teeks' side. Teeks is going for that music box. Very interesting. I think he has two music boxes, doesn't he? Very interesting. Oh, no bump. This race is insane, man. This is so crazy. All right, Maiba's gonna have to go back. Yep, in the music box. Looks like Teeks is making good work of this fortress. Teeks, you gotta find your special tile, bro, man. You gotta find the special tile, bro. <laughs> Maiba getting another movement of two or four or something. Bad Hammer Brother movements. Getting the early P speed in 5-9, saving those 11 frames. All depends on how big the turn back is, though. Oh, the double shot. I haven't even seen that before. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Teeks. Don't get a star here. It's very important that you do not get a star. You get punished for that. All right. You got the flower. If only that was his first card. Does Teeks get a bump? On his way to the fortress. Fingers on it, buddy. Right here. No bump right there. He gets it and ties it up. Moving on to world six right here. Wow, man. Look at that. Look at that. Teeks still has a chance for special tile, though. Special tile in the overworld from the Hammer Brothers. Still has an opportunity here. Does he use his opportunity? I hope so. That was, that was actually a pretty insane World 5. That was pretty insane. That was a pretty insane World 5. World 5's a no-bump zone! World 5 is a no-bump zone! Maiba RTA. 
go for the fire kill. Wow, warpless fire kill. Oh my god, I thought he got stunned. He didn't get stunned. He didn't get he didn't got Okay, there we go. That is exactly what Teeks needed. Teeks is going for RTA. Oh, I think he waited a little too long. All right, both got stomp kill, but Teeks just ended up being a little bit faster. And look at that, man. These guys are neck and neck. Teeks has not gotten the right combo card yet. I, I mean, we can get we can get uh, a terror or a moderator to go back and take a look. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. My my screens did that stupid thing where you move a window and everything minimizes. Why do they even have that feature? All right, looks like they're both entering world six, and they don't. Nothing, nothing really going on. They both get top patterns. They both get top patterns, so it looks like they're not going to be able to get the low bro world six patterns. Very unfortunate. We lost Teeks's timer. That's easy to fix. There you go. Boom. He gets a mushroom. He does not get a fire flower. Teeks is going for the fire flower. Does not get it. Let's see, does he get a 279? He is the first, Maiba is the first person to get the 279 in the tournament. Oh my god, Teeks, that scared me so much. Oh no, Teeks, you're on coin ship. No! Teeks could get the 279 though. Oh, he got a coin. Wow, that was so smart. That, I did I was not expecting him to get that coin. He was paying attention, that's insane. That was insane. I was not expecting that. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Big brain plays, although he's getting a marathon. Very unfortunate. They both have gotten higher patterns though, so they're not gonna be able to secure this. Very unfortunate. Yes, if I could get any kind of moderator to go back and double check to see if Teeks did get the right card formation, but I don't think he has. I have not seen him have a flower as his first card in his inventory yet. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Teeks almost died right there. Ooh, Maiba getting slow there. I think he still despawned though, didn't he? No, he did not. Oh. Teeks getting the good Hammer Brothers situation, but he doesn't want to fight this one just yet because there's no special tile right here. He needs them to move and then move again and then move again. Oh man, Teeks is not going to be able to get that special tile. Very unfortunate. Right now, Maiba is speeding up right here. Maiba is speeding up. Oh, Maiba got both low patterns. Thank you very much, chat, for helping me out there. Thank you very much, dude. That window closing down was that's so stupid. Why, why, it, why it does that? Right? I moved the window to look at chat, and then all of my screens minimize. It's such a silly feature. But we're back in the action. We're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna miss any other thing. All right, so Maiba's making some great work with these points here. Neither of them going for the Hammer Brothers suit except for Teeks. He's going for it. Not a bad strategy here. Not a bad strategy, right? Because we've seen before, you want to get the Fire Flower to try and get Wrangless and then get the Hammer suit. You want to Swip Swap. Looks like Teeks is going to be on his way. Right on. He's a little bit behind, but he's trying to go for Mushroom House and stuff like that, so we don't blame him. Ooh, bonk in his head. Not going to be able to get early P-Speed. Gets it there. Maiba is going for Fire Flower. For Warpless, is looking pretty good. He's going to save his P-Wing. Keeps P-Speed. And he gets the Fire Flower. Right on. Right on. I think we're going to see Teeks also go for this strategy as well. All right. Boom. This means Maiba is probably not going to go for Floor Clip. We're probably not going to see a Floor Clip here. Maybe, maybe he will and he'll still have a power-up, right? Maybe he will and we'll still have a power-up. Alright, now very excited. Let's see if he goes for it. He does not. Well, he might have gone for it. It wasn't like the best attempt, but... Oh, Teeks get the star mushroom! That is actually incredible for Teeks right there. Look at that, getting that point, man. Yes, Teeks. Good job, dude. 
Good job. Teeks is also going to go for the fire flower strategy. I'm always worried about this duck input right there. <laughs> that is a scary duck input. Nice, nice. Making good work of this. Boom. Oh! Oh, he almost took damage there. Wow. He's, he literally dodged a bullet, right? Like, that is exactly what he just dodged there. Wow, man. Crazy. Woo! Man, that was an insane World 6. If only my stupid windows didn't close, I wouldn't have missed anything. But thank you so much, chat, for hitting us up. All right. Teeks is on his way. I don't think Teeks is going to go for the clip either. It's not worth it. It's a scary situation, right? Oh, he went for it, man. That would have been crazy. That was kind of close. He's not losing that much, guys. The Fire Flower is not going to make or break this run. Maiba, he's going to go for the Fire Clip. Does he get it? Maiba actually... Oh, my God. Maiba is annihilating World 6 right now. This is insane. But Teeks, look at Teeks, though. He's... He's putting up such a strong fight right here. This is such a strong race. This is insane. Putting up an extremely strong fight right here. Against somebody who keeps getting clips and stuff. I mean, gosh dang, it's supposed to be so hard, right? All right, Teeks, it's your turn to get that clip. It is possible for two tries. Maiba going for the fire kill. Messing up a fire flower. He gets it. Sets up for sub pixel manipulation. Yes, he does. All right. Maiba has one in five tries. The way he's playing right now, I feel like he might get it just first try. All right, Teeks. You got to get a world six point here. Oh, Teeks also gets... Dude, he is not letting Maiba breathe, man. Maiba... If Maiba makes one... One big mistake, that's it, man. Teeks will just come crashing right through him. Crashing right through. Is this one of uh, Maiba's mistakes? Let's find out. He's got one in five tries. Of course he gets it first try. And there it is. I don't know how nervous Teeks is for 7-1, but... He could be pretty nervous. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He's gonna have to go for the stomp kill. Little bit of delay in the pipe. Mm, it happens, it happens. Go for the stomp kill. Big jump there. Oh, T wow. Maiba is doing an extremely questionable play here. A mushroom house that requires like four pipe transitions. I don't know if that's, is that a thing? He gets it though. What is going on, man? Holy crap, Maiba is just points after points after points right now. Wh where did this even come from? 17 versus 14 right now. This is incredible. This is incredible, man. Oh my gosh, and I think he just got early P-Speed, fast 7-2 here. All right, Teeks. One. Two. Three. Four. He gets it. Teeks gets it. Oh my gosh. This is insane. These guys are just neck and neck this whole time. Teeks is unfortunately behind by close to a minute, I'd say. Is he also going to go for the same mushroom house? That's a such Like, there's so many other mushroom houses in the game. I don't know why. He is going to go for it. All right, Teeks, right here. If he gets this, this will be insane. They're just do they're just copying each other at this point. Oh, he does not get it. The other two mushroom houses in this world, if I'm not mistaken, give you um, Tanuki suit, frog suit, or hammer suit. Those are the last two mushroom houses in this world. So, um, unfortunately, that was Teeks' last chance to get that that RNG point. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it. But still absolutely exciting. I mean, you take the time, right? You get the point. You don't take the time, you don't get the point. All right. That was an incredibly good 7-2 from both of our players right here. I'd love to see it. Neither of them have to worry about their inventory or the end level cards. That is such a comfortable feeling. That is a very comfortable feeling. 
Ooh, entering transition at the same time. So it looks like Teex is about two levels behind, two and a half maybe. Uh, this can be a big change, right? We still got the hands. We still got the hands. We got fanfares. We got deaths. We got damage in World 8. We got auto scrollers. We got hammer suits. Very interesting. You have to remember, once Maiba gets his hammer suit here, that's it for the rest of the game for him. He's got no other option. Whereas Teex does, he has the item, right? So Teeks has got a little bit more leeway than Maiba here. Maiba not slipping off. Maiba also getting in the pipe here. Very big piece speed strategies. Boom, boom. Teeks flip-flopping in his inventory. If Maiba loses his hammer suit, that is big for points for Teeks. Almost takes damage there, and he looks like he's in the clear. Very nice. We're most likely going to see uh, P-Wing... No, sorry. We're most likely going to see... Loud music box at the end of World 7 here. But first, first it's Clipland. So Teeks does not have to get the hammer suit in 7 8, which means he doesn't have to do these clips, which means Maiba is losing time right now. Look at that. He can't even get the first clip. Is he going to opt out? When is he going to decide, you know what, this isn't going to work for me? I got to get out of here. He's already lost 10 seconds from this. More, more than 10 seconds already. Teeks is catching up, man. All right, well, there's one. Oh, he, oh man, if he took damage there, I would have, I would have freaked. Oh, he's going for the easy one that sets him right up, sets him right up for mid clip. I want to see Teeks not go for hammer suit here. I want to see Teeks not go for hammer suit here. There is no point for hammer suit because Maiba is flip flopping and Teeks does not go for hammer suit. Maiba messes up first try, goes for second try. He does not get mid clip. Oh my gosh, the doorway is massively open, and now Teeks is on the same level with Maiba right here. Whew, the difference in routing, man. The difference in what people are deciding. Teeks is now going to use his last P-Wing and just get right to mid-clip so fast. This is incredible. He doesn't have to worry about Hammer Suit either. Maiba doing this fortress. Holy crap, he's going for time. This is our first Swag Fortress with Hammer Suit that we're going to see this run. Looks like he's doing it. Teeks does not get first try mid-clip. Does he get second try? He does not get second try. He's got to get the heck out of there. And Maiba making amazing work with the first section of that fortress. Boom. Don't take damage, man. This is huge. All right. He's doing good. And he gets the kill. Wow. An incredible fortress on Maiba's side. But this is rough for Maiba, man. If he loses his Hammer Suit... Any points? Oh, he's got a fire flower in his inventory. Okay, he's a little safe. All right, we're gonna get music box. Oh, they're both going for the same thing. This is interesting. Teeks knows this route. And he's, look at him. He's not scared at all. Look at him go. I would've got the star just for simple safety, right? Wow. These guys, man, they are setting the bar extremely high. Teeks making a little bit of a mistake, but fixing his mistake properly, man. Don't panic. Get the job done, and you're out of there. All right. So it looks like Teeks can actually get Rangless, where Maiba cannot. So this could, this could be huge. This could be huge. All right, World 7 Airship, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? We got chat open up. Let me double check and make sure I don't want to miss any of uh, support that has gone my way, which has happened. We have Poppus27 with the Prime for six months. Thank you so much. And we have Slip Rise for seven months. Welcome back. I very, very much appreciate that. We have Eternal Samus with the 300 bits. I think I already saw that. And we have uh, Uncle G with the 12 months, one full year. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, Maiba actually got the Fire Flower on the airship. That is so interesting. He cannot get the Sun Kill now. He's, he's got something up his sleeve, though, right? Right, he's got to have something up his sleeve. What do you guys think? That's, that's a guaranteed kill. Dude, that's a guaranteed kill on the Sun for a random... Oh, Maiba got a wrench in the butt. Very interesting. Thank you, chat. 
Wow, that is crazy. You love to see it though. Because he actually lost the 100% world record to uh, a rocket wrench as well. Oh, and he took damage. He's stunned. Oh my God. How did he not take a second hit there? Wow. He almost just lost the race. <laughs> so he can no longer go for the sun or Wrangless. Oh my gosh. If Teeks used his lifeline right now, we could tell him that, right? We could tell him. That is incredible. I don't know how he got out of that stung lock, but that was insane. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at when Maiba gets to the overworld in World 8. He gets there at about 45... 45.21. Let's see when Teeks gets there and then we can see the time difference. Alright. Now, Wrangless isn't guaranteed, but Teeks really needs it. Really needs it. He really, really needs it, man. Oh, man, this race has got, like, crazy on edge, right? Like, this is... Maiba could get the sun, that's right. An A2, he's got to do some, like, weird leaf. Oh, wow. Wow, Teeks is, like, 30-something seconds behind. Yeah. He's, like, 40 seconds behind. Crazy, but he's got his Fire Flower. He's got his Fire Flower. Remember, it's about the points. And we got the hands coming up, so what? what's, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen with the hands? I will agree that Maiba has so many points that he just needs a solid eight, but he has no idea that Teeks also has an amazing amount of points right here. All right, here we go. Maiba not going to be able to get Wrangless. So much money on the line for these guys. I mean, you could pay rent with this cash prize. I mean, if you're renting out a place for 700 bucks a month, it's either where are you or what do you got yourself into? Some places are dirt cheap. All right, he's gonna use his fire flower now. He's decided to use his fire flower now, which is pretty good because he doesn't want to go for that troll clip right there. If he goes for that and takes damage, he can guarantee himself another no pointer. So this is, uh, guys, this is a, an intense world of eight right now. And it's like super slow as well, because we're on auto scrollers. It's just gonna ramp right up once we get to the hands and the wrenches and the levels and the lives. What do we got? We got 19 and 19 lives. Looks like both runners. How do they avoid those one-ups, guys? What, what, they can't do anything. Oh! I want to see one of them avoid the one-up clip. Are they focusing? Oh my god, are they going to pay attention, guys? Are they going to skip the one-up clip? They have to. Ca I want to see one of them cosmic brain paying attention to their lives. They know what's going on around them. This is going to be good. This is going to be really good. At first, I was like, they're going to get a one-up from the, the three cards, but then they're going to get the one-up clip, so they're going to get 21 and lose a point. Right, man. Hopefully they're paying attention to their points. All right, Maiba is going to be the first to go across the hands. Don't accidentally enter it because, you know what? That's a punishment. That's a penalty. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. If he gets pulled in by all hands, that's going to be great for Teeks. Oh! He gets pulled in by the last hand. That is a great time save for Maiba. That is almost a guaranteed, you know, first place win here. But we'll see. We'll see what happens from here on out. Gets hand three. Neither, he, you know, Maiba doesn't get the point. So if Teeks gets no hands here, that'll be a good time save for him. That'll, that'll allow him to bring it up, bring it back up. Neither of them have taken damage. All right. It's time for the wrenches. All right, Maiba. Yeah, he's got to turn and press B because, yeah, we, we're so used to it. Let's see what happens here. All right, it's Teeks' turn. 
Oh no, Mibus flip flopping, splashing around. All right, Teeks gets pulled in by the first hand. Now Teeks is saying, you know what? Just, just, pull, just all of them, pull me in. All of them, pull me in. All right. Remember, you can't guarantee the the altitude. You know, of the wrenches. We don't know exactly how they're going to be thrown. So, ah, oh, Teeks gets two hands, so he gets a time loss. And he doesn't get the point. Very close, though. But he's probably saying, you know what? Oh! And Maiba takes damage. He is not going to get the damage list. The no damage point. But he is going to get the no rocket kills. Right on. That damage is killer, man. That is really bad for him. Teeks, Teeks has points advantages here. Let's see how this goes. This is an insane run right now. It's, it's about the points, guys. It's about the points. All right, Maiba's gonna use his P-Wing, pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna get the Fire Flower and then he's gonna be able to keep P-Speed. Nah, nah, that's a tough P-Speed. I assume the opponent, if he... Oh, Maiba, nice work there with the P-Speed, doing the, doing the duck turn back, pretty good. I want to see if Maiba does anything special in 8-2 right here. I want to see if he does anything special. <gasps> oh! Teeks! And he almost dies, too. That's what happened. He almost died, so he's not going to get the rocket points. Maiba's not going to be able to go for this. So the, the points are kind of, uh, you know, they're kind of weaning out. But I want to see if somebody's going to get punished. I want to see I want to see if Maiba just completely goes autopilot and goes for the one-up clip and gets punished. He's got 20 lives. He's got 20 lives, right? This is this is intense, man. I don't know what they're going to do. Teeks, wow, getting that P speed. He really had to push that P speed right there. Insane. Oh, look, Teeks isn't going to get a life, so he doesn't... Wow. Oh, wait, no, no, he is going to get a life. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, oh, my God. For a second, I, I thought he was in his last level. I was tripping out there. Oh, my God, he almost did damage from that plant. Gets the sun kill. Teeks is getting that kill right there. Boom, baby. And he's making good work. Now Teeks feels safe. They both have 20 lives. Are they focusing on their lives, though? Are they focusing on their lives? Yeah, don't accidentally equip something else. All right, Teeks is not taking damage. Where Maiba has taken damage, they both have 20 lives. I really, really want to see someone autopilot. I want to see someone autopilot one up clip. I, dude, is he going to? Is he going to? That will bring Maiba down to 17 and it'll bring Teeks. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Does, does he autopilot it? I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> does he autopilot it? I don't think he will. I think he's too good. He autopilots it! He's got 21 lives! He is punished! Oh! Oh, man! Oh, man! So he gets punished right there for finishing with 21 lives. That is big. That is... We have seen... Guys, we have seen so many mistakes today. Or no, sorry, not today. In this tournament, we have seen so many um, just loss of thought mistakes. Wow. That is crazy. So it looks like Teeks is going to get second place where Maiba's going to get first, but Maiba is going to get punished right there. Look at that. He's going to get punished for that. Teeks has not taken damage. Teeks, pay attention to your your lives, man. Don't go for the one-up clip. Don't go for it, dude. Don't do it. This is your chance to tie it. No. Oh, he's smart! He waited! Oh! <laughs> this is massive! He tied it! It's tied! It's actually tied! 
This is the most intense race I've ever seen. Teeks did not take damage. He did not take damage. And he also got the 20 lives point. It is tied up, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Maiba got sub. Maiba got sub 54. It's not tied up. It's not tied up. Ooh, man. Ooh, I thought it was tied up there, but still, that was incredible. All right, here we go. On go from three. Make sure chat's ready. Chat is ready. All right, we got it. Three, two, one. Go! All right, here we go. These runners are going. We're going to go ahead and pause this really quick. Get Maiba back up, and let's go. All right. Game two. These guys are neck and neck with points, man. Anything can go if we get a death, if we get a fanfare. So much can determine the next race of who's going to advance. I know Teeks really wants to advance. He did incredibly well in season one. Uh, this is Teeks' first season. I think he wants to impress all the ladies. I think he's been, you know, talking to the girls about how good he is at Mario 3. And he invited them all out to watch his tournament race, you know. <clears throat> so he's got a lot to live up to. Teeks are already impressed the Bikini Babes last season. So he's, he's just going for the golds here. All right. All right, while they're doing work with this, what do we have going on for the points in World 1? We have the uh, first frame jump in the Hammer Brother battle, and we also have the ship duck jump. All right, that, that's that's all we need to worry about in World 1 right now. There's no special tiles. Uh, they can't get the uh, flower star mushroom, because World 1 is way too easy to get flowers, so we set it up. Oh, Maiba taking a little slippy dip there. That's okay, he's got his flower back. <clears throat> And look at that, they are very close to tied up. Tied up in time. That... Ooh, this is looking pretty intense. This is looking pretty intense. Alright, Maiba going first. He gets the first flame jump! Oh my god, Maiba is on fire with that first frame jump. Teeks, you gotta get that jump. This is a game where Teeks either goes for time. Oh, he gets his head stuck in the ceiling, but that is okay. That is okay. Honestly, guys, we've seen it. World 1, anything that happens is really not the end of the world. Not even close to the end of the world. Maiba also losing his P-Speed. That's pretty good for Teeks. It's going to allow him to keep that little tiny lead. Does he get the frame perfect jump though? No! Oh, Teeks does not get the frame perfect jump. It is not his day for those jumps. You cannot buffer it. You can't hold jump. It will not work. If you hold jump, you will not jump. Alright, just shows that Maiba has got a little bit of the lead there. Teeks is not used to this backup. I, I normally he would reset there if that had ever happened, so he wasn't able to do you know perfect jumps there. But looking good, looking good. He's not too far behind. He's not too far behind. All right, here we go. Is he gonna go for the mushroom? Oh man, that mushroom house is right. That mushroom house is way faster than the World Seven mushroom house. Maybe maybe these runners are saying you know what? If I make some mistakes, then we start going for the mushroom houses. I haven't really made many mistakes, and it's too early game to tell, right? It's too early game to tell. All right, Maiba. Oh, Maiba's ducked and let go of his duck. What happened there? This is your chance, Teeks. This is your chance. This is huge. I don't know what happened with Maiba there, but we have to focus on Teeks. Do not let go of that duck jump, Teeks. Do not let go. This is... This is... Oh, Mitch. Ducking on the airship's easy. Yeah? Well, what's going on right now? Nice. Teeks does not want to go for the fire flowers. Way too scary. Ooh. If you take damage as well, right? You're back to small Mario. This does not work when you're small Mario. Because you cannot do the crouching animation. Come on, Teeks. This is it. Teeks gets it! Wow, look at that. And he takes the lead. So it looks like it's 19 to 18. Ooh. We're doing the advanced score calculations. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna be entering World 2. World 2, things are gonna start heating up. Things are gonna start getting a little spicy. Alright, we're getting Sun Kill and all movements of 2. Is it Teeks' turn to get a little bit more lucky than Maiba? Let's find out and see what happens. Always guaranteed a movement of 2 after the first level. 
Oh, it looks like... Looks like... Maiba's in the lead, so we're gonna actually use his audio. We're gonna turn it down just a little bit. A little loud there. There we go, that sounds... That sounds pretty good. Alright, we got Maiba on the right side in the lead right now, but not in the lead for points. Not in the lead for points. Teak can save some time here if he gets the Fire Flower without turning back. He turns back anyways and gets the star. You hate to see that Maiba bumping on the overworld map and fireballs going every which way for him. Teeks wants all movements of two, but if both of them get movements of one, then that's still good for Teeks, right? That is still good for Teeks. Teeks has got to make... Oh, do not get a fanfare here. Teeks has got a lot of stars beside each other in this in the first race, and he's already starting strong in the second race with those two stars, man. All right, he doesn't get it. That's good. Maiba still getting movements of two. Oh god, is it gonna happen again? Is he gonna get early P-Speed? Doesn't turn back. Gets the early P-Speed right there. Boom. Teeks also getting a movement of two. However, that Hammer Brother is in a position to screw him over. We do not want to see that. Nice, man. Both getting early P-Speed here. This fortress is really annoying for P-Speed, guys. Really annoying. Do -do -do -do. Nice, getting us all a fire kill. Unfortunately, Teeks is going to be losing some time for not getting that fire kill here. Teeks is definitely out of his comfort zone a little bit. It's weird not having fire this early on. You don't know what's going on. It's, it's just an awkward situation. But hopefully Teeks does not get screwed over by this hammer brother. He does not want him to move left. He's not going to move left. That's good. And he gets another movement of two and he's out of his way. That was the perfect movement that Teeks could ask for. Here we go. It's all up to round two for these guys, man. Who is gonna bring the win home? It's very important. Very important. Boom. Right in there. Maiba's still getting movements of two. It doesn't? I don't know, man. I don't know if he's gonna get it again. He's gonna go for the sun kill, I assume? Yes, going for the sun kill. Teeks gets a movement of one. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to get that point. Maiba has a very slow strategy to guaranteeing him getting that, which is gonna allow Teeks to actually catch up and get movements of one is gonna allow him to catch up as well. Boom, dude, it looks like Teek has that on lockdown. Maiba with the flower and the star. This could be huge for him. This could be huge. Maiba getting amazing RNG in World 2 again. I commentator cursed it, man. I said it, he guaranteed was not going to get it again. So, if he gets it again. Oh, he takes damage. That is not what you want to see, man. And he gets the mushroom. Wow, Maiba already so early in the game. Flower, star, mushroom right there. Flower, star, mushroom. They both get the sun kill. Teeks does not get the fanfare. Thank goodness. Dude, is Maiba actually going to get all moves to two again? Teeks is making up time, though, by getting movements of one. Uh, however, man, you want to get that point. All right. This is it, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. The reason we have the all movements of two point in World 2, the reason I put it in is because it's like, it's not likely, but it can happen. But to have it happen in both your races, what? What? All right. Teeks has managed to catch up quite a bit in this, um, in this World 2, mainly because he was behind. Ooh. It's gonna give him some more time. That's gonna change when Maiba ends this level. So is that going to be the cause of movement of one? Is that going to be the cause of movement of one? Teeks hopefully getting a flower here. Does not get a flower. We're we gonna get a movement of one. Wow. I just I I don't even I can't I can't even right now. I can't even. What? Two times in a row? Abs that that just like it that's crazy. So the Hammer Brother with the music box went right in between the Mushroom House and level 4 and stayed there almost the entire time. Wow. Alright. <clears throat> Teeks is gonna have to work pretty hard to bring to bring this lead down, man, to take that win. All two is damn nutty, right? I agree, I agree. I hope chat is doing good on Saturday. Make sure you guys got your snacks, guys. You wouldn't be able to defeat all Hammer Brothers in Warpless in World 2 because uh, you'd have to use the hammer. 
uh, to kill the last Hammer Brother, which means you wouldn't have a hammer for World 4 and or World 6, so you'd never do that. <clears throat> That's why World 2 is very important important for that point. Alright. Maiba getting payback for the wrenches not working out well, man. They are- they do not like him. Let's see how this is gonna go. He bumped on the overworld map. Oh, he's gonna splish splash. He get the fire kill though. Teeks also getting the fire kill. Look at how close these guys are. Wow. Holy crap. They are just a couple seconds apart. They are just a couple seconds apart here. On video feed, of course, they, there's a little bit of time here and there. A little bit of time here and there. Uh, no, he didn't. Maiba got Flower Star Mushroom uh, from level 3, the Sun level, and level 5. That is after the Fortress in World 2. Pay attention, guys. Read the rules. Watch the match. But luckily, you guys have me here to do that, so don't worry too much. Although, I will need you guys sometimes. It is very possible for me to miss stuff, so keep your guys' head in the game, because sometimes I might need to use my own lifeline and, and ask chat for advice. It's happened before, and it will definitely happen again. Especially if my random windows decide to close. Alright. Easiest level, man. They are looking fine. It looks like Maiba is past the coin ship potential. Fatigues is a little bit close to it with the coins. Not the score, though. So, we're, we're, we're in the clear right now. I think we're actually pretty good with coin ships here. Alright, Maiba getting a bad movement. Teeks getting a good movement. Maiba's movement is not necessarily the worst, but what makes it bad is that he's not and he's not in the clear. Oh! 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 That nice shot from Teeks! Very safe here. Nice. Looking good. Very safe for Teeks. Very, very nice cleanup there. That could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. Alright. My bud. I don't know, man. He's not in the clear for Runaway, man. Runaway is a nasty, nasty bugger. Alright. Teeks gets the switch. That is gonna be... Uh, just subconsciously good for him if he fights the star first. This also means he could get special tile. He desperately, desperately needs the Hammer Brother to move down. He desperately needs that. Oh, he ran on top of the pipe. He's not going to be able to keep P-Speed here. No siree, Bob. All right, Maiba is in a very, very scary situation here. He's not guaranteed special point, but he could get door three here. Does he get door three? He gets door three! Wow! Look at that! And Teeks gets a water battle! The Hammer Brother moved up, but Teeks also gets the special battle! That is amazing for Teeks right there. He gets the special bro pattern early. He does not have to worry about it later. Maiba is gonna do this level first, but it could put him in runaway bro territory. Teeks not going for door three! Very questionable, but maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable. It's understandable, man. It's a big time loss. But not in this situation. Not in this situation. Alright. Teeks is not gonna have to worry about Runaway Bro. Oh, man! I don't think this is a special tile either. Oh, would you look at that. They both got the item before the hammer. So he's gonna have to do a double screen scroll. Work his way back. There it is. There it is. He's not gonna get the special tile either. But he got the hammer later, right? Which means he's not gonna have items together on his inventory. Another screen scroll. Look at how long that takes. Any items touching? No items touching. He's got a star in between those hammers. Absolutely fantastic. Teeks as well. He's got a star in between those hammers. Look at these guys go. They got these uh, chances for these inventory points, which is... Pretty big. These guys are very close in points. However, Maiba is in the lead by one point for this specific race. Wow. Look at that. Alright, if if Maiba misses the H jump, Teeks will definitely gain a lot of time on him here. Ah, oh, Teeks! Get those flowers first, my dude. Get those flowers first, my dude. Alright, he's going for the H jump. And he gets the H jump. Look at that, nice and clean. Teeks is also very good at the H jump. I don't see why he wouldn't get it. Calm takes curse though. Teeks also gets the H jump. Look at that, two for two for Teeks on this side. And I think Maiba is well two for two. 
Um, I'm pretty sure Maiba did not do water bro pattern there. So he is actually ahead by two points right there. All right, looking good. Just looking over my points, making sure, double checking. Look at these right here. Look at Maiba so far. What a, what a disaster right here for Teeks, but he doesn't know. I would hate if Teeks uses Lifeline. I'd have to tell him the bad news right here. Maiba is just cleaning house right now. Look at that. If he had done the ship duck jump, holy crap, he'd have max points right now. Max points so far, but... But anything can go, man. Anything can go, right? Look, Teeks is still doing too, pretty good. He's got the two points from that, right? He's got the, the, the item early, man. I mean... Maiba may never get that point. Unfortunately, he got a water pattern and no... He didn't even go for door three, so it's okay. It's not like he messed it up. He kept his... He kept his, um... He kept being behind, you know, much smaller by not going for door three. However, you gotta risk it sometimes, right? You gotta risk it sometimes. All right, here's a chance to take a look at chat. How are you guys doing chat? How are you guys doing chat? Maiba got no... Yep, yep, Maiba got no water pattern. I got it. But thank you very much. More races today. Yes, we actually, this is the first of three. So we have uh, two more matches after this. One after another, all Saturday night. I'm doing pretty good, Shelps. How are you doing? All right, he's going for the fire kill. Three, five, seven, nine, ten. Look at this, man. Look at this. This is crazy. I hope you guys are doing very well. Hope everyone's having a good time. Yo, the boom sticks with the gift sub to Valkyr. Thank you very much for the five months gifted sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, back to the race, guys. Back to the race. Maybe Maiba gets punished. Maybe Maiba doesn't get punished. Who knows what's going to go on? But we got a clean slate right here. No points going on. Let's see how it goes. It's very possible to take damage, kind of mess things up. You never know what's going to happen here, guys. RNG can mess you up. You could have brain farts. You never know. Yes, Teek's going for the safety. Safe. Oh, touching the pipe. Going to make it hard to keep P-Speed. Not going to be able to keep it, though. Very unfortunate. We need to see Teeks get some uh, flowers, stars, and mushrooms. Maiba getting pretty decent RNG. Let's see what happens here, though. Ooh, the Teeks are the coin ship here. Oh, Teeks. Maybe Teeks just realized, oh, that's how I get a fire flower, man. I need to get the flower first card. All right, both getting good RNG right at the start here. Anything can go, though. Maiba's looking for this hammer brother to move down, so it's very easy for him to just get the cloud first. Just very easy to get the cloud first. He does not. Is he going to go for the mushroom house? He's not going to go for the mushroom house. All right. Here is a no mistake level. He's got to not make a mistake here. He gets punished. This is what Teeks is looking for. Teeks wants to see a mistake in this level. Teeks getting better RNG here. Get rid of that cloud right away. My bad, not getting punished here. Not making a mistake. Teeks getting a, a mild marathon here. Now it's Teeks' turn. Teeks makes a mistake here. This could be really bad. He can't afford to lose any points because then he's got to get more points than his opponent. Maiba still has no items touching in his inventory. That is a huge, huge point gain for both of them. Teeks is in the same position. Amazing. Look at that. Teeks is also not going to get punished. Look at that. 289. I was very nice, man. 288. You can make a mild mistake and still get that. Alright, Teeks getting another kind of bad movement. Items in his inventory are still nice and clean. We want to see Teeks get the P-Wing and the Cloud. Same on Maiba's. Then their inventory is very nice. Ooh. Teeks getting the corner clip. Very, very unfortunate for him. He's swimming blind right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Is he going to jump and turn back shoot? Oh! Oh, and he got hit. He did turn back to shoot, but it didn't help him. Oh, it looks like Maiba. He knows his Hammer Brothers, right? This isn't a guess. And he got the P-Wing after the Cloud. Looks like Maiba's going to go ahead and get that. That is a skillful trick there. You can determine which Hammer Brother has which item. You just have to pay attention. You have to learn. Looks like Teeks is going to also get the P-Wing. 
I think he Teeks is also gonna get the P-Wing. Look at that. These guys are nailing these points. You love to see it. Looks like Teeks can avoid the Star Bro as well. That's gonna be bad for Teeks. If he doesn't grab that Star Bro, he's gonna have his P-Wings touching. I hope Teeks knows this. Right? He's gonna beat the airship. He's gonna have his P-Wings touching in his inventory. That could be really, really bad for him. Really bad for him. He's gonna want to fight that star, man. Does Maiba get early P-Speed? It looks like Maiba gets early P-Speed. Look at that. Right there. Does Teeks get the early P-Speed as well? It's a good thing Teeks gets early P-Speed because I actually messed up the points right there. Look at that. Really good. Teeks. I don't think Teeks realizes he's got to fight that Hammer Brother or use a P-Wing. One or the other. This is a huge advantage for Maiba by fighting that star, bro. Teeks, you gotta fight that star, bro. He's gonna have P-Wing. P-Wing. Is he gonna fight it? No! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Uh, very unfortunate. That is going to be a, a, a very nice opportunity for Maiba to clean away an additional two more points. Two more points, guys. That's right. Two more points. Uh, they're not Kerbo, but they're in a situation where items have not touched in their inventory, so why not go for it, right? I think Maiba is actually going to start going for it now because he got he's in World 5. It's... it's it's pretty easy to control at this point. So we'll see. How are you guys doing? Looking good, looking good. We're halfway there. It's a bit of a struggle for Teeks. There was, there's a couple things that Teeks could have done, but we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. We, we, we want to hope that Maiba doesn't pay attention. I mean, we've seen people... We have seen so far in this tournament that people have kept their inventories clean, guaranteed the two points, and simply messed up in the exact same way that Teeks is, but in World 7, right? Think about how much time you wasted with those inventories just to get screwed over, right? Still a massive amount of points left in play. Nineteen is the highest in round one so far, yes. Oh! Maiba has missed all of his shots. Gonna go for the stomps. There we go, he got the fire kill. Actually allowing Teeks a little bit of time here to catch up. Uh, uh, let's hope Teeks doesn't go right through the boss. That's good, very nice. All right, dude, you guys make getting past the world ship so much better for me. Thank you very much All right, it looks like we're gonna head into world five We got the roulette 280 higher in the tower and no bonks on the overworld this time We can listen for my but my but was unable to get that last time. So let's see how this goes Let's see how this goes All right, make it a clean traverse right away in the first level Teeks not having Fire Flower, not the end of the world in Warpless. Let's see what Teeks decides to do. Making good work, getting himself up the stairs. Let's see if Teeks can get a Fire Flower here. He needs, he needs some of these points. My butt, not bumping where he bumped last time. Oh, and Teeks gets the Fire Flower. Please tell me he's going to be able to secure that. That is so good for him. That is really good for him. No bumps in the overworld map on Teeks' side either. Boom. Boom. All right, looking good. They are so they are so close in terms of time, man. They are not they're not super far. All right, moving to two. No bonks. Get a star here, Teeks. Teeks gets the star. Teeks, you know how to get a mushroom, dude. You got this, Teeks. 
This is this is gonna be huge for Teeks to secure one of these points. Unless he bumps on the overworld map, which we hope he doesn't. Nice, they're both in the same fortress. Teeks not having fire flower. That's gonna be unfortunate for him. We'll see how this goes. Maiba getting a nice clean fire kill. Teeks doing a very standard, comfortable, consistent fortress. Very nice. He's he's not nervous, right? He's a little scared, but not nervous. All right, Maiba's gonna go for the roulette game. Let's see how he does. Gets the mushroom. Gets the mushroom. And he gets the mushroom, dude. Nice work on his side. Let's see how Teeks does. Teeks also got this point last time. Using a music box here. All right. Teeks starts off with the mushroom. Gets the mushroom. And he gets the mushroom. Both of these guys are absolutely incredible. These guys are so good right now. All right, Maiba not using a star. Teeks is going to use a star here. That's going to guarantee his 280. So Maiba cannot make any mistakes here. This will be huge for Teeks if he gets this. Oh, and that's the mistake that Maiba needed to make for Teeks to get this point on him. Maiba is not going to be able to get that 280. Is Teeks going to secure it, though? Keeps his P-Speed. Doesn't mess up. It looks like Teeks is pretty much in the clear for that 280 or higher point. Maybe Maiba will get the 280 dead even, but it doesn't look like it. Maiba gets some coins, loses, misses the 280. Teeks does the duck jump to secure the 280, and I think he does. Teeks secures the 280. Look at that. Coming in clutch. No overall bumps. Maiba, I don't know if he almost died there and got lucky. Not sure. Can't tell. So hard with these spinners. Looking good, looking good. All right, Teeks just needs to get this mushroom. Teeks, you know how to get mushrooms, dude. You know how to get mushrooms. He gets the mushroom. Look at that on Teeks' side. Flower Star Mushroom. And just right there, ladies and gentlemen, evened it out. Wow. Insane. No bumps on the overworld map from either of them. This is insane. Oh, Teeks getting the early peace speed. Look at him catching up right now. Teeks is on fire. Teeks is on fire. He doesn't have Fire Flower. He's on fire, but doesn't have Fire Flower. He's going to need it. He's trying to get a mushroom there. Not... Oh, no. He just lost his speed. All right. Look at that. He's getting his enemy kills. Looks like Teeks is going to have to get his Fire Flower back. He goes for the strat. He knows. Gets his peace speed back again. Gets the rebuild. He makes the pipe. And look at this. Holy crap, man. Jeez. Maiba not doing... Neither of them are doing any overworld bumps here. But neither of them got any special tiles. Right? I just want to confirm with chat, neither of them got special tiles, right? Neither of them got an item from a special tile map on the Hammer Brothers. Maiba already has the special tile, so he doesn't want to worry about it, right? Wait, Maiba does not have the special tile. Teeks has the special tile. Maiba, Maiba does not. Maiba does not have the special tile. Teeks already has the special tile. Teeks going for that. Hammer kill. All right. It's the last opportunity for either of them to do overworld bumps on the map. All right, looking pretty good on Teeks' side. Look at how close these guys are. Look at how close these guys are. All right, here we go. We gotta listen. Keep your ears, keep your ears open for these bumps. Does he bump after using the cloud? No, he doesn't. Maiba, fantastic. World five. Teeks' turn. Is he gonna bump? Teeks also does not bump. Look at Teeks. Teeks with the full clear world five. You love to see it. Look at that beautiful, all that shiny color. Love to see it right there. Absolutely incredible. Holy crap. Look at these scores. Like what? Ooh, baby. Maiba did get special tile, Kerbo. Where did he get special tile? 
I know Maiba didn't get special tile in World 3. Maiba didn't get special tile in World 1, 2, 3, and you can't in World 4. So where in 5 did he get it? The first Hammer Brother in the, the bottom section of World 5? Uh, Maiba did not get a water fight in World 3. Maiba did not get a water battle in World 3. It was right before the Twisty Castle. Okay, there is a special tile before Twisty Castle. I am going to give him a point, but if you guys could definitely go back and take a look, that would be very helpful. But we'll give him that. We'll give him that point for now. Just check the VOD. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right. They're both done World 5. It was, it was hard to see because Teeks was just on fire there for like five minutes straight. That was just absolutely insane. That was just absolutely insane. My goodness. All right, world six. We, we need low patterns. We need 279s. We need floor clips, fire clips. They got special tiles. They gotta watch their inventory. No stars touching for Maiba, right? You see what I mean? That's huge. And he got an up pattern. Looks like he's not going to be getting good RNG right there, guys. Let's see how Teeks does. Teeks does have items touching his inventory. That's going to be unfortunate. Teeks gets a low pattern. This could be good for Teeks. This could be huge. This could be huge. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> that is not what you want to see. Maiba is not going to be able to secure that 279. Does Teeks get a Fire Flower? Teeks does not get a Fire Flower. Dang it. Uh, is Maiba still going to get a 279? No, he is not. He just missed it. Holy crap. Oh, and Teeks taking damage. Teeks is not going to be able to get the 279. That was his chance. Maiba not getting the point, though. That's big. Maiba getting a Marathon, though. It ended. It ended. All right, all right, here we go. This could be bad for Maiba. He's he's kind of out of control for what items are gonna touch in his inventory. Teeks not being able to get that early P-Speed. Is he still going to get the, the orb kill? He is gonna get the orb kill. At least he got that, that's good for him. That is good for him. All right, let's see. Maiba already got high pattern, so it looks like Maiba is not gonna be having a good time with these world six points. Ooh, right there. He's gonna fight the cloud right here, and then he's gonna have to fight the star. But he's gonna take the death! That is huge right there! That is massive! No death reward! Taking the death right there! That is huge! He's not prepared for these these tricks here. And Teeks almost taking a death. Maiba getting a star. Is that gonna mess up his inventory as well? I don't even know. Holy jumping. He's using that P-Wing. We're gonna find out how the inventory's sitting very soon. All right. If Teeks gets some good RNG here, he might be able to take the time lead. Look at that. Get the despawn, very comfortable. If Maiba takes damage here, he's slipping up a little bit. What's going on? He's able to get it though, he's doing good. He's not worried, man, he's got this. Teeks close to a fanfare. I would not be dicking around with those cards. And it looks like Teeks is getting good RNG. Does he get low pattern? Oh, no. That's all he needed was low pattern from this bro, but he got good RNG. Oh, Maiba is going to go for the hammer suit this time. Teeks has forgotten about the hammer suit. Oh, no. Teeks has forgotten about the hammer suit. It looks like Maiba's inventory is still really good for that point. Holy crap. Teeks is not in the lead. I don't... What's he going to do here? He forgot... I, dude... It's so easy to forget about that hammer suit, and I don't know why. And it looks like Maiba is also very close to a fanfare here. Kind of making me nervous, man. I'm getting nervous here. This is scary. This is very scary. Go back for that hammer suit. Oh, Teeks. He wanted to go for it, but the Hammer Brothers in his way. Oh, man. This is not looking good for Teeks. He's a little nervous here. He forgot about it. He's got to go back as long... Oh, man. What can happen here? What can happen here? No fanfares. No fanfare. Is Maiba going to get the fanfare? 
No, no fan for either of them. How has... Oh, there we go. Kerbo going back. Very nice. Maybe Kerbo was just biding his time. Maybe he couldn't go back, right? All right. Maiba going for the 610. How does Maiba have the same amount of lives with the death as Kerbo? What are we missing here? What happened? Oh, Kerbo has not got his 1-up yet. That's what happened. Maiba got his 1-up earlier than Kerbo. Jesus, these strategies these guys are doing. I mean, I'm definitely familiar with this, but... I mean, they're not messing up. <laughs> Nobody is... Do, do I gotta make these points harder next season? What's going on here? These guys... Ooh, that was a short hop, but luckily he made it. This race is a thousand times closer than last race, and I never thought that that could happen. All right, he does not get the clip. This could be her. This could be huge for Kerbo if he gets. That's massive amount of points. We reduced it from three down to two. In the likely scenario that somebody gets it, we don't want it to be too overpowering. Tease does not get it either. It's very safe to do an over, an overshoot there. You want to do a little bit bigger jump because they don't want to take the damage, right? Taking damage loses that time here. All right. Wow, this is close. Teeks is what, like 15 seconds behind, maybe? Ooh, this is nuts. All right, Maiba touches feet on the airship at 35, 20, 35, 30. Let's see where Teeks is at that point. Oh my God. I have a start. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see it the next time he uses his inventory. It's okay. Well, if you guys can guarantee a star touch, then he has not guaranteed that inventory. I did not see a star touch when he went into his inventory uh, for the hammer. Yeah, where did his stars touch? Because I watched, I saw the second page. I knew, I knew, I knew page one was good for him. Stars touch definitely. Okay, well, let's take a look when he uses his items in the item abuse world. Maiba not getting the clip. Does Kerbo get the clip? Kerbo gets Oh my god! Kerbo gets the clip. Look at this Kerbo right there. Kerbo's not playing. It's Teeks. I keep saying Kerbo. You guys are messing. That's it. I'm closing down, chat. I'm closing down, chat. <laughs> I'm getting so confused. All right. Maiba... Okay, because I know his name. All right, Maiva. Look at Teeks shooting his fireballs. Teeks doing a fantastic job. I love watching Teeks 88 so much because I know his name. Going for the fire kill. Beautiful fire kill. Going for those suffix manipulation setup. What? Teeks is the only person that for some reason doesn't understand how the subpixel manipulation works. And it bites him in the ass all the time. I need to sit down and draw like stick figures and be like, okay, Mario moved here, but he didn't move. So you need to tap more. Come on, Teeks. This is why 7-1 hates you. All right, Maiba, you got five tries here, buddy. Five tries, gets the first try, doesn't have to worry about it. <laughs> subpixel manipulation, guys. Subpixel manipulation. Two first tries in a row. Teeks has got to get much lucky. Ah! Yes! I am so proud of Teeks. I am so proud of him, buddy. All right, Maiba. He's not going for the Fire Flower inventory, right? There it is. Yeah, he's not going for it. He's going for the backwards strategy here. Now, is Teeks going to go for the Fire Flower here? He has not got it yet. He is not going for it either. Look at this. World 7. Pretty intense. Look at these points. Teeks is one point behind, but he's losing the race right now. So let's, this is, I can't, I can't even control it right now. Teeks needs a disaster on Maiba's side. Maiba needs some good stuff going on here. Deep breaths, guys, deep breaths. All right, they're both in the same level here in World 7. 7-3, seven, one of the easier levels, but anything can go, guys. Anything can go. Oh, see what I mean? Was there stars touching there? 
I, I haven't seen any stars touching. Maybe on page one? Maybe on page one? Let's take a look here. Page one, stars are touching! So, Maiba is not guaranteed. Chat is too strong for me. That is too strong for me. Alright, here we go. Unfortunately, Maiba not using stars. Why aren't he using them, man? That's so many points he could have got there. Alright, Teeks jumble around in his inventory. Alright. This is item abuse land right here. Island 2 is just all about items. You do 7-3 cloud P-Wing P-Wing. Rip Island 2. Island 1 is get the clip and have a stressful 7-2. Island 2, use as many items as you can. Island 3, stressful life. That is how World 7 works. Alright, Teeks using the P-Wing as well. Teeks had already had items touching in his inventory, so he is not gonna be getting that point either. Although it looks like no items are touching now, that makes sense. Is Maiba gonna go for Hammer Suit again? Or did he realize what's the point? Oh man, I thought he was gonna die there. He is not going for Hammer Suit. He is actually gonna have a much bigger time save here than last time. Yes, he's changed it up. He's realizing his confusion. He's like, I'm not doing that crap again. And he is in the clear. All right, Teeks is also, is Teeks gonna go for Hammer Suit just for safety? Or is he gonna go for non-Hammer Suit? Like last time, looks like non-Hammer Suit is the way to go. Right now, Maiba's got the P-Wing. Now he's making the plays here. Now he's making the plays. All right. It's all about mid-clip here, guys. All about mid-clip. Let's see. Maiba likes to go for a P-Wing mid-clip. He doesn't normally take damage here, so let's see if he gets it. Maiba doesn't get a first try. Goes for second try. Oh, and he didn't do the duck input, so he's not going to get it. It's Teeks. Going to claim this, this two-point lead, which would tie up overall. What is gonna happen here? Oh, Teeks is not gonna first try, does he get a second try? Oh, he does not get a second try. Midclip has not been his friend today, but these guys are very close in time right now. The hands could de decide everything. Oh man, I'd get out of here, dude. I would just go... Cloud thing, thingy majig, you know, this could be dangerous for both people. Maiba making good work though, and he is. Oh, he almost fell right there. That would have been really bad. Teeks also going for the scary, spooky level. Oh, he's going for the Karua strat. Old school. Old school strategy. Teeks doing a little extra couple turnbacks for safety there. Looking pretty good. Boom. Easy done. Easy done. Look at how close these guys are. Teeks doing a faster strategy here. Oh, with the double bounce, and he makes it. Man, nice and clean. Nice and clean. All right, chat. How you guys doing? I said Karua, not Kerbo. Nice try, you freaks. Nice try. I see you guys there. I see you guys there dicking around. I didn't say Kerbo strats. I said Karua. All right. We have Te Teeks has always ended up turning into a meme in these tournaments, so it looks like Teeks is now Kerbo. Kerbo for 2020. Alright, now's a great chance for me to check out some things. Let's see, we got Double Base. Welcome back for your second month, 17 total. Thank you very much, Double Base, and thank you for the support. I very much appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Get hyped, baby. Do 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 world seven 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 This is all gonna come down to world eight Okay, Teeks has to pull out as much as he can for world eight and do as many as the tricks that he knows He's really got to show off how comfortable he is in world eight world eight and everything always comes down to world eight It's the most important world It's the most important world Dancing Bone Zones. Love to see it, guys. No, no problem, Jay Haley. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you so much for the kind words. Remember, guys, if you guys want to get in this tournament, all you have to do is get sub-60. And uh, hopefully sign up early enough where, you know, there isn't a billion people in these tournaments.
you got lots of months to practice, Jay Hill. You got lots of months. Oh, nice fire kill. He does not get stunned. That was very scary. All right. Now it's Kerbo's turn. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna go for it here. Yeah, just go for the stomp kill. That's fine. All right. Kerbo had some pretty bad luck with the hands last match. Hopefully, he gets better luck this match. And hopefully, my McDonald's makes it by the end of this match, guys. Time to get a sodi pop. All right, Maiba entering the first tank. All right, we'll let we'll release chat for these. We got some auto scrollers. Not much going on here. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I'm just I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around. But we got Teeks coming in. We got Maiba going in. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm 86. I'm gone. Too many Red Bulls? This is my first one. I started with a bottle of water today. First Red Bull. The Bone Zone flavored Sody Pop. That's right. Uh, let's get these World 8 exposed. Very nicely done. World 8. Here we go, man. This is exciting. Yo, Dave Lindo, what's going on, dude? How are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Kaylee likes those as well, Tang. What's going on, guys? What's going on? We're, we're just getting through. All right. Here we go. Is Maiba going to get Wrangless? And is Teeks going to get Wrangless as well? Let's find out. Maiba does not get Wrangless when the Boomerang Bro moves backwards. You're guaranteed to not get it. Neither runner has taken damage. It's very important. What? Oh, I guess he just used it. This is so risky. This is so risky, man. If he takes damage here, this is almost this is almost a win for Teeks. Teeks does not get Wrangless either. Dang it, we needed some Wrangless from either player. They both have 18 lives. It looks like they're gonna get 19 from the card, 20 from the one up. So it looks like they're gonna be doing pretty good. I don't wait, no! Teeks is actually gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Teeks has got enough coins to cycle over. So Teeks is going to have to pay attention again. Go Teeks, go Teeks. That's right, Teeks is gonna have to skip that one up one more time. Maiba's getting close to the hands, man. No hands would almost guarantee Teeks' loss. The points in first and second and the, the, the sub 54 would be huge for Maiba again, man. But Teeks is on his way. Teeks is also on his way to a sub 54. So this could be huge. Teeks wants to see Maiba get two hands or three. Two hands is what Maiba, what, what Teeks wants. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got hand too, so he's not gonna get the hand points. But he definitely got a hand. If Teeks gets no hands here, he could catch up and he doesn't lose a point. This could be huge. Holy crap, Teeks is the no hands master. He always gets no hands when he needs it. Does he get it again? No, he does not. Maiba gets only one hand. This is incredible. All right, hopefully Teeks only gets one hand as well. Maybe Teeks gets all hands. But all hands would maybe make it so that he doesn't get that 54. Needs that 54. Let's see what happens here for both players. 
Teak's getting two hands again! That is absolutely horrible for him. Absolutely horrible. So let's see how he plays out. Hand three. Uh, it's looking pretty good for him so far. Maiba has not killed. Any wrenches has not taken damage. He's looking pretty good here. Oh my gosh. I don't know how he secured that. But it looks like Maiba got the no rock kills. Looks like Teeks is doing pretty good as well. Teeks should be able to nail this out. Do not give Maiba that chance, Teeks. Do not give him that chance. Maiba's probably going to use a star here for comfort. Yes, he's going to use the comfort star. Good. Looking pretty good. Teeks gets the despawn, which means Teeks gets the point as well. GG on Teeks. Look at that. And no damage, which means Maiba is going to come down. He's got he already got the first sun down. Is he going to get the second sun down? Let's find out right here. He gets the second sun. Look at that sun kill for him. And look at him go, man. It looks like he's gonna make it right through. And he's gonna be a gonna be able to use his cloud and get out of here meanwhile teeks is using a star he wants to make sure he gets p speed does not want to take damage does not want to take damage maiba going the long way in his inventory god the hands oh the hands this is crazy right now tied 16 Teeks is now going to get the sun kill here. Teeks gets the sun kill. Look at that. Wow. All right. This is crazy. Teeks going oh, oh, the wrong way. All right. I I mean, odds... Odds are, man. Odds are that Maiba is not going to lose this, this hammer suit. I mean, it's so unlikely for either of them at this point to lose it. So I just... I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think so. I mean... God, it's almost like a guaranteed once you're in Bowser's castle, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, man! That was close right there. Jeez Louise. Bumping on the overworld map. All right, here it is. I have no idea what could go wrong here, but... That's the one-up clip for the 20 lives. Got the P-Speed. Does he miss his duck foot and put? No, he doesn't. He's in the clear. Look at that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Maiba is going to go ahead and get the sub... The sub 54. And it looks like Teeks is going to be in second place and also get the sub 54. We'll see how that goes. Wait, Teeks has got the 20, so Maiba's also going to have the 20. Is Teeks going to avoid? It looks like game one has single-handedly controlled the outcome here. He's going to, he's got to avoid this. He gets the clip. Wait, can Teeks actually get the sub 50? I think he's got it. I think he's got it. And he's got the 20. Yes, he does have it. Very nice. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. What? Uh, sub 53 is not another point. 
sub 52. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. 19 to 19 in round two. Holy crap. 36 to 38. That was insane, guys. Go ahead and give up. Give it up for our racers. Give it up for our racers.